Hey, my name is Scotty. Thanks so much for joining me today for this sketching tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to sketch this figure here and capture his motion using a fountain pen. So I just bought this pen. I haven't used fountain pens much before. I managed to fill it with this ink, with this Twisby Eco pen. You dip the pen in, screw up the valve, and it sucks ink into this little canister here. So there's lots of ink in there. So with this figure, we're breaking him down into different sections, and we're making sure we capture the motion here. So we'll start at the top here, and immediately, the biggest thing I notice about using this fountain pen is the amount of ink that pours out the end. It's a lot more than my uni ball pen. We've got the hat, and now let's go down to the face. So we've got the nose here, which is level with the bottom of the ear. And they're the darkest spots, just capturing those dark places around the face. So coming down to his beard, you can see it comes across. We'll divide up the face using the facial hair there. I don't know, maybe I'll add, leave some of these gaps. The nose might need a bit more. Okay, so there's the head, very loose and expressive. Now, this part here to capture his motion, see this front part of his chest here. If I was trying to copy it exactly, I might tend to draw it quite straight, but because I wanna capture motion, I'm slightly exaggerating things. So what I'm thinking here is I'm going out more than I would think, and I, in the end, I'm sure it will look more accurate than drawing it straight down. So here I'm doing his shoulders copying that big shape there. See, the great thing about this pen is that it has so much ink. You can sketch quite quickly and the pen doesn't lose the ink as it's going. So the other angle here, instead of trying to draw this straight, this arm, let's, let's bring it up slightly at an angle and that'll exaggerate the movement even more. Now, how long do, do we do the arm? So from the shoulder, if you have the head length here, from the shoulder, it should be one head and a half. So that's about the bottom of the elbow. The wrinkle in there. From there, one and a half to the wrist. Ah, see with the pen there, I tried to, as I twist it, I normally twist the pen. So I have to be careful that I have to keep the fountain pen straight and not twist it and sketch on the side like that. Okay, now see the angle there I went down instead of straight like there. So it's got up and down. And then, now let's sort of half look what I'm sketching and half look at the reference there. So you're not concentrating on one or the other too much. I've got this bag under his arm. Exaggerate that angle. Give it a bit more of a bow. And then the bag, she comes out from the shoulders there and has a clasp. To get the length of the legs, it's really important to have the right proportions. So we can get that head length again, and we can come down from the shoulders three. One, two, three. So this is the crotch where the legs join onto the body. And then we can, so I'll put a little dot there, and then we can double that. So if we go from this point down to here, so it's about here. That's the top of the ankles, just above the ankles. And we'll put the other one about there. That means we'll fit it in the page. And so about halfway between that is the, is where the knee is. And see how it goes in there and goes back out again. That's a really nice shape to look at. So we'll make sure we get that. And those folds there, so awesome this reference. Now, look at those folds, I love Close with this many folds. Okay, now go in for the knee. Back like that. Now he's got that sort of waltz look. Okay, now the shoes. So from here to there, that should be about half, half. Now we can add in the shoes, the boots, and that shape there, there's a sort of a circle here, and then we come and we level out here that where it touches the ground okay and then the other one so you can see in the reference that it's just slightly above because his legs further back so make sure it's not lower than the other one and so i really like how 
the, the proportions there work nicely. It's a little bit different than the reference, but that's because we're not using pencil to make sure everything's perfect. We're just having um, guesses, making it nice and expressive. And there's a hand there, so just showing some fingers, and the stick. So I'm gonna make the stick a little bit longer. But looking at that negative space there, see that triangle? Comes out like this. Yeah, I've got to continuously remind myself not to turn it on the side there. Seems like when you press, then the ink comes out. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot more experience with this than me, but um, it's really fun to experiment with new things. I have seen someone turn their pen upside down like this, so let's try that. Is that a technique that you use to get thinner lines? Yes, well, it's thinner. I've always wanted to try this. Yeah, the, the lines are a lot thinner there. Maybe that's good for hair. I feel like I've captured the movement here quite well. And I can guarantee if I tried to copy that exactly and I just kept it straight and I wasn't thinking about exaggerating it, he would look a lot more stagnant. Okay, now we've done the inking. I would like to add a wash on top. So I've got some burnt sienna and I'll go over his face here. Let's see if the ink is water resistant. Oh, that's great. Not too much bleeding there. Okay, we'll make his jumper a bit of a nicer blue. Remember he has a bag there. So orange. Red scarf, and a bit of that red to the front there, and a bit of blush. Now the walking stick, some amber. Okay, so let's put a bit of amber on here. So I'll let this all dry, and then we'll add in some shadows. Okay, I've got a light purple wash for the shadows here. So we'll go across. Mostly this, you can see this shadow here underneath the hat and around there. The sun's coming down, be this side of things. And you can see there's a shadow, really nice shadow on the hand there. Under here and then under here. Definitely on this side. And under this leg. And you can see on the ground here, there's a shadow there. So I'll put that there and I'll let that dry again. So we're gonna use a Posca pen, which is a white paper marker to do all the highlights. So let's just add a few across. I've given it a really good shake. So then the, the paint is as white as possible. So we're just choosing some lines to outline where some light's reflecting. Some of the boots, it's writing on the front. And then a final touch, I will add some, just some splatters to give it a more of a dynamic look. So just tapping my brush there. And even get some of this orange that we had before, not too much. So we did the line work, added a wash, added some nice details and highlights. I really like that sketch, you can see the movement. And I love trying this fountain pen as well. Um, it really helped with the line work to have so much ink flowing out. I still like my fine liner uh, Unibot pen, so I'll be still using that. Um, but this definitely has a place in my sketching now. If you have any tips or suggestions for me when using this, I'd love to hear it in the comments. I have another similar tutorial to this if you want to really get into figure drawing, especially drawing people in action. So you can watch that tutorial here. Um, thank you so much to my Patreons for your support. It helps me make these videos. I'll be putting the real time as usual on Patreon for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.